What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So if you guys haven't tuned into Cupid's Corner, what we like to do is, is we want to give great tips, tricks, or a little bit of our inside information to help you guys better your relationship or maybe reignite that flame that maybe been, you know, got smothered out a little bit. So you want to make sure that thing is burning strong, especially in a relationship if you want a long lasting, successful relationship, right? So there's a lot of different things that go into this. It's a job, don't ever forget that. You have to work daily on your relationship to make sure it's successful. Not a chore, right? A job. It's not a chore for sure. Not a chore. And you know, and even if you're married, you know, it's still dating. So don't ever treat it like, you know, it's just a routine. I get up every morning, I drink my coffee, I go to work, I come home, hey honey, where's my dinner at? Eat my dinner, I go to sleep. Uh, that would be terrible. <laughs> right? So. <laughs> There's some different tips and tricks that we want to bring at you. So every week, we cover some new ones. This week, in particular, we're going to cover two main ones. The first topic is sharing highs and lows daily with your partner. Mm -hmm. You know, so at this point, when you come home from your day at work or whatever is going on, or maybe, you you know, because of COVID, you're sitting at home and you've worked all day there, you might have some highs and some lows, some good things that happen, some bad things that happen. And the best thing to do is maybe at dinner time, sit down with your partner or even your family. Mm-hmm. You can get your kids involved in this one too. Yeah, no, actually my dad this used to great. force us to do that. So he would sit us down at the table and this was every single time we had dinner at night. And it was me, my brother, my dad, and my mom. And my yeah. dad worked three jobs. So, yeah. I mean, he was barely ever home. So when we did have this dinner, it was no joke. Yeah. So we'd sit there and be like, okay, so what was the best part of your day today? And I'm like, okay, well, this is what it was. Okay, what was the worst part of your day today? Mm -hmm. We'd go around the table and everybody would say it. You know, sometimes you might be like, wow, that really happened today? You know, and then it starts up a conversation that you, I mean, you may not have known unless you asked or unless you shared what was going on. Because, you know, I mean, even think about, I'm sure back when I was working for someone else, um, you know, I'd come home, throw my my stuff down, I'd be in a bad mood. I'm sure he would understand, you know, like, uh, she's in a bad mood, but he would have no idea what happened, you know? So, you know, I kind of give him some little bits of the story of like what took place and why I'm upset. And then, you know, he's a little bit more understanding. So it could be one of those situations, or you can share something that happened that was really cool, you know? With, with doing this, it helps in a lot of different ways. One, it helps with bonding with your partner, right? You feel closer because you know you know what went, they went through in that day, good and bad. Mm-hmm. Two, it can help your partner. And let me tell you why. It can also help you in de-stressing because you have all those bottled up maybe emotions of something that happened bad or great emotions that, that, that were built up and maybe they forgot to share with you. And you know, sharing those bad emotions sometimes and getting them off your chest and onto the table will help alleviate that stress and, and really help you all around, mm-hmm. health-wise too, because you don't want to be stressed. That brings up cortisol, which can make you fat. You don't want that, mm-hmm. okay? So, you know, <laughs> right? I, 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 I'll be honest, yeah. you don't want that, okay? Yeah. So you want to be as, you know, you know you're always going to have some stress. There's good stress and bad stress, and you're going to have both. But you want to make sure you know how to balance that stress. And being able to communicate with your partner or even with your family at that point, like you said, because you can do this with your kids too and ask them, hey, how was your day? You know, what, what, what good happened? What bad happened? And you really get the full picture that way. And you stay in tune. It's, it's, it's a better version of Facebook because it's real. Oh it's God. personal. You're there. You're getting to talk. You're getting to bond. This is real, really real social communication. Right. And that's how it should be, especially with your family, with your loved ones, okay? So this is really important. So make sure that you're sharing the highs and the lows each day. And you might be really upset when you come home and your partner has no idea and you're getting the flack if you're the partner, you're like, oh my God, what happened today at work, Jeez, right? Please. please, please tell me. So, you know, that could be one thing where they come home smiling, like, oh, okay, so what happened today, right? Yeah. And they could share a lot of good things with you. You know, even if you're sitting at home, you know, you're not always uh, interacting with your partner per se, right? So. You know, it's good just to do an overview of the day. Highs yeah, I mean, listen, we work together every day. We're here at the office every day. That doesn't mean that he knows exactly what my highs oh, and my no. lows are because oh, no. we're here physically together every day, but not like really together every day. He doesn't see every little beat of the day. So, of course, you know, when I go home, I'm sure I just spill his little ears out, you know, but it's a good thing, though, because it helps you, too. I mean, you're being able to de-stress by talking yeah. about it. Yeah. You know, don't you want to vent about it? Get it off your chest? And, you know, just feel better about getting it off your chest. And on the flip side to this, guys, do me a favor. 
do not judge them or yeah. say anything about it or even start up any sort of conversation that's, Listen. that's gonna, you know, start up another, like, you know, maybe, Problem. well, maybe you should have looked at it like this. Cause that could turn to a whole nother situation. Just listen. And after you listen, then just give them a hug. That's it. Just a hug, a hug and a kiss. I love you. It'll be fine. Tomorrow will be a better day. Tomorrow's a new day. It'll be a better day. Now, on the flip side of that, they could say, you know, I don't know what to do. And you yeah. could give them some some good pointers. Like, For hey, sure. maybe, maybe you do this, maybe do that. And that might give them a new outlook on things. So they can go in and do that. And it could change the game. Mm-hmm. You never know. Because people think and look at things different ways. Even your partner. I mean, you know, I think, you know, me and Sharice, I think we're... Uh, we're a rarity because we look at a lot of things very similar. Yeah. I think we, we came into our relationship looking at things similar and that's why we had such a tight bond and so quick yeah. because we had a lot of similarities, you know, good, good and bad, I guess, you know, <laughs> so at that point, um, we understood each other a lot. So, you know, some people don't have that and they're learning or they're complete opposites, mm-hmm. right? And those complete opposites sometimes attract, right? That's what they say, opposites attract. And at that point, you know, you can definitely look at something totally different than they look at something. So, you know, you can share that, but let them ask you. Don't say, yeah. oh, you should have did this or you should have did that. Because it could turn into something that it's, it wasn't meant to be. And they'll, they won't want to share that information right. with you. Then they think they're getting judged or they're getting a lecture and a stuff lecture. like that. A lecture, yeah. that's you don't a, want yeah. that, right? Nobody wants a lecture you after know, work. It's tough for you, too. Even when you do it with your kids, you know, you, you want to tell them the right way, but you don't want to come out as a lecture because, uh, whatever, dad, or whatever. Right. No, 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 listen to me. You know, <laughs> it is what it is. But, so that's just one thing, right? That's a great tip and trick, you know, and this will help you guys all the way around. It's a big one. Relationship-wise, if you have a family, family-wise, um, it's going to help in a lot of different ways. Mm-hmm. So share your highs and lows, good and bad, every day, okay? <laughs> so the next one, and this one's really cool, too, because this is an everyday thing. So, you, you know, I'm trying to set you guys up, or we are, with good routines every day that, that should hopefully set you guys up for success. Small Even, building blocks of daily to build into the... Yes. Bigger picture. Yes. So find something every day that you appreciate about your partner. Now, this can work in a couple different ways, right? So find something every day that you appreciate about them. Now, you can tell them because, listen, what partner doesn't want to get the compliment about something that you like about them? I mean, that's a confidence thing. That means that you they think or they know that you're thinking about them, right? And you think this about them. That's great because some people go in relationships and... You know, the wife or the husband, like, oh, man, I don't know if my wife still even likes me anymore. I don't know what's going on, you know. I never get a compliment. They don't look at me. You know, I just, it's just an, it's another day, right? And that could that could definitely push you guys away from each other or one party away from, and that could go and, and, and you grow in separate other, directions. Yeah. And you don't want that, right? So when you think about these different things, you can tell them or you can keep it to yourself. And this is good, too, because if you keep it to yourself, you might think of your mind, oh, my God, you know, I love... I love Sharice, you know, she does this for me every day. Or, you know, I love this about her. I get to see this and it just brings a smile to your face. And you don't got to tell them, but inside you know, Mm -hmm. right? And this will help you guys too. This will help in the relationship because even if they get on your nerves or they're getting on your nerves, Mm -hmm. you go back to the good things, right? Don't always look at the bad things. Even if you're in a, a bad situation, something happened wrong, okay? Whatever it is, you know, then you just focus on the negativity, and it's always negative, like, oh, and then you start thinking all these negative things. You don't ever think about the positive things. And it's not, what have you done for me lately type oh, deal. Boy. You don't <laughs> want that. It's an overall picture, right? right? Because let's say you're in a relationship for 12 years and you look at the past two months. Well, that's a small fraction of what you guys have been together in a long period of time. So when it comes down to things like that, you really want to look at the big picture, okay? And doing these things like remembering the good things and the things that you appreciate about your partner will do that and hopefully bring you back to a better state of mind and maybe more calm and if you are having problems or issues you can talk about it or communicate about things and you'll be in a better mind state right? well communication is key I was going to bring up just something just off the top of my head I mean I appreciate John waking up at 6 o'clock every morning and taking Peter to school he makes some breakfast and everything because listen, clothes. listen let's, let's just, I'm going to put it out there I am not by any means never have never will be, and currently am not a morning person, okay? My morning starts at 12. So you can talk to me and call me and text me after 12 o'clock anytime before that. 
I'm still sleeping. Not literally, but I am still sleeping. Um, but he does get up. You know, I stay, I, we, we, sw- we swap off. So, you know, I might stay up a little bit later to work or do emails and things like that. Um, and then he kindly gets up at six o'clock and he does take care of Peter. I mean, that's a big job, you know, getting him off to school and taking care of the breakfast, making sure he looks good, make sure he puts on deodorant. Oh my goodness, this yes. child yes. will yes. smell terrible if he doesn't have deodorant, yeah. sorry. But, you know, it's it's a little things that count and that's a, not really a little thing to me, it's actually a really big thing. I mean, I even thought about it specifically even this morning and the morning before that and the morning before that. So yeah, every morning I think about it, but it's appreciated. I may not tell him all the time, but I do appreciate it. And I, it doesn't go unnoticed or, you know, I, I, I do notice it every single day. You know, it's just little things like that. It could be the littlest thing. The littlest things, because a lot of those little things equal big things, mm-hmm. right? And that's what it's always about. A lot of pennies equal a dollar, right? 100 pennies equal a dollar. So at that point, you start adding up those little things, they really add up to big things. So those little things count. Small, big, make sure that you're appreciating these things about your partner or something they're doing for you. You never know what it could be. You know, and I have friends out there, I hear these stories all the time, you know? I have one of my good friends and he just talked to me the other day. He's like, you know, he's like, you know, this woman he's been dating, you know, with, you know, he takes care of the kid that's not his child. That's great, you know? He doesn't have to do that. Tourism, does this, spends all kinds of money, you know, and that's a great thing. You know, and the girl tells him, well, you know, you don't appreciate me. He's like, well, what do you mean? He doesn't want to throw in her face all the things that he does, but at that point, like, he wants to be appreciated too. Like, are you, you know, are you taking into consideration these different things that I'm doing that I don't have to do? Well, you know, honestly, and we'll make this um, on the next episode, take note of this, you know, don't always have, like, expect what they don't have to do right. that you're going to just expect that they do it because they do it all the time. Right. You know, don't do that because when you start setting that bar where it, they're doing something that they don't necessarily have to do and then you just don't take it for granted. Gra- you take it for granted. No. I mean, that's kind of what I'm saying what with about is. that. You're taking it for granted. You're not appreciative of that's what right. they're doing. Not grateful. That makes things a little sticky yep. and they will feel that yep. and they'll know yep. and it eventually it might not happen in a day or two days or a week or a month or a year but it does build up over time absolutely and it eventually does turn into animosity i mean that's the truth it's going to turn into that so we'll talk about that more in the next episode of cupid's corner Tune in then next sunday <laughs> 11 a.m you can see our beautiful faces john and sharice and we are happy to give you guys these tips, tricks, and some of these different things that help us in our relationship or that we've seen help in other relationships out there. So we wanna thank you guys for all the support. It's been a great 2021 so, so far. We appreciate you guys and we'll see you next Sunday, 11 a.m. for another Cupid's Corner with me, John. I'm Sharice. And my beautiful wife, Sharice. I thank you guys. Bye.